Now to the war in Ukraine, where a Russian supply base deep in territory controlled by Moscow just became a target. Fires and explosions continued overnight in Crimea, the region that Russia seized from Ukraine back in 2014. Ukraine has not claimed responsibility, but its president is praising civilians for giving information to its intelligence services. Charlie Daggett is nearby in southern Ukraine. He's following the increased fighting there. Charlie, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail. Russia calls the explosions in Crimea sabotage. Sources here will only hint that elite covert teams may be responsible. Whatever the cause, the back-to-back -back attacks signal a dramatic new phase of the war in this region. The electricity substation up in flames. Exploding ammunition at a weapons depot. Orchestrated attacks following last week's assault on an airbase. Creating chaos in Russian-controlled Crimea appears to be part of the strategy in Ukraine's push to retake neighboring Kherson, where we visited villages liberated by Ukrainian troops but still under fire. Dina Skovkorodko, community leader of Zagradivka, told us residents have just fractions of a second to react to the shelling. Sometimes you don't even have time to reach a safe place, she said. If you're in the garden, you fall to the ground in the garden. We're standing in a province that is largely under Russian occupation, and schools like this and villages like these are under constant bombardment. And now they're preparing for the counterattack likely to be launched from this region. Volodymyr Pashok returned with his young family after fleeing under gunfire when Russian troops overran this village. Are you prepared for what may happen in the weeks and months ahead? I know that the intensity of warfare is going to rise, he said. I'm sick and tired of it. Sadly, six-year-old daughter Nastya has more combat experience than most soldiers. When your daughter gets frightened, what do you tell her? She knows when the Ukrainian army is shooting, says Mother Alyona. But when she hears incoming shots, she hides in the house. She tells me, I hear a howitzer, or that was a tank shot. She knows everything. The father told us he came back before his family to make sure the house was safe, only to find out that Russian soldiers had been using it to store weapons. They set booby traps in the kitchen and the bedroom that explosive teams had to defuse and clear out. Nate? Kids should not know the type of artillery by the sound of it. That's for sure. Charlie Dagada in southern Ukraine. Thank you.